Hello whistlers everywhere. So I uh, recently ran uh, a poll to see which tune uh, you'd like a breakdown of next and it was very close but the winner by one vote was the Dunmore Lasses. So today's tune breakdown is going to be that. It's going to be the Dunmore Lasses. So I'm going to start off by playing a very simple version with maybe just a few cuts and then I'm going to show uh, how I would ornament it and how other players often ornament this tune. Uh, and again, these are only suggestions. You don't have to use any ornamentation you don't want to. Uh, there's no right or wrong way of playing this. The most important thing is the tune and the rhythm of the tune as well. So um, we'll be having a look at this and doing a bit of a breakdown. Um, so the other tune that came in second was uh, a lovely slip jig called Fig for a Kiss and then there was a Caroline tune which came in third called Planks de Irwin. So I'm going to in future look at doing uh, a tune breakdown of both of those uh, tunes. So Dunmore Lasses, um, this tune lends itself to being played in a more slow, well slowly, more sedentary sort of way of playing it. Um, it's played oftentimes in sessions and it's played at all different rates but I prefer to play this one a little bit slower it seems to um, lend itself to being played in a slower way uh, I heard the group Cran play this tune Don Molasses uh, in a slow as a slow reel and it worked so well so uh, yeah speed with this one I'm going to keep it as always with tune breakdowns I'm going to keep it steady and careful uh, so the first version I'm going to play of the Dunmore Lasses is just going to be pretty much as it is with a few cuts to separate notes um, and maybe a few cuts to add a little bit of emphasis but basically it's going to be as it's written in the music so first version of Dunmore Lasses and then I'll show you what I like to do on it um, and then you can decide if you'd like to put some rolls in it or some other ornamentation or whether or not you just prefer to play it uh, straight again the choice is yours okay so here's my version of the Dunmore lasses played without any ornamentation other than just a few cuts So that was my version of the Dormore Lasses without any kind of ornamentation other than just, a, as I said, a few cuts to separate the notes. Um, so what I'm going to do is have a look at the first two bars, the first two measures. And you can see the first measure has the dotted quarter note or dotted crotchet and it has the F, then it has the dotted quarter note G and then to the A. So what I like to do with these are to put some long rolls. So remember what the long roll is, it's the note, the cut and the tap. So with the E long roll, yeah, what I like to do is play the E, 
cut the E, tap the E. So I cut with that finger and tap with the note underneath. So when we do that long roll, again, So if I play that first note to the F, so long roll on the E and then the F. Note, cut, tap, F. And then the same thing with the G. So we're going to long roll the G. Note, cut, tap, A. So that first measure, we've got two long rolls. E, cut, tap, F, G, cut, tap, A. So it sounds like this. And again. So the second measure, the way it's written, which you can do perfectly fine, or if you want to um, change that, what I like to do is to make those um, into short rolls. So I'm going B, E, cut, tap, B, E, cut, tap. So it sounds like this. So the way it's written, And if we want to substitute with short rolls, so putting those two measures together with the rolls. Uh, again, you don't have to use the rolls, you can just play it as. Or you could mix it up. You could play one like that and then one as a roll. So you could go. It's entirely up to you. Um, change it up whichever way you want. When you do the repeat, you could play it as written the first time and then maybe substitute some short rolls on the E um, as a variation. So the next measure, we've got the dotted quarter note or the dotted crotchet on E. So I'm going to do a long roll on that. So I'm going to go. Okay, so with that, I'm lo on the third measure, I'm long rolling the E to the F, and then I'm doing a short roll on the G, and then I'm cutting the B to the G. So long roll, E, cut, tap, F, cut, tap on the G, and then cut the B to the G. So it sounds like this. Again. And the fourth measure, or the last bar on the first line, again, I'm going to do a short roll on the A. So I'm going to do cut, tap. So cut, tap, cut the B, A, G, E, cut the F sharp, cut the D, uh, sorry, play the D, so. So again. So the third and fourth measures on the first line are gonna sound like this. Okay, so the first two measures on the second line are exactly the same, almost exactly the same as the first two measures on the first line. So again, long roll on the E, long roll on the G. So, so now the next measure, uh, the second measure on the second line, yeah, we can approach that a number of different ways. So the first way is with the cuts, 
Now we've got the half, uh, the sorry, the quarter note E, and then we've got the um, quaver E to F. So we got. So what we can do, and again, this is up to you which you prefer to do. Um, we can either do this. So what I did on that version, um, I turned the, the quarter note into a long roll and tied it to the eighth note uh, E. So I just basically turned it into a long roll and then just played the F. So I did this. So B, E, cut the E, D, E, cut, tap, F. So what I did was I basically turned the quarter note E in the second part of the second bar on the second line into a dotted quarter note. I basically tied them together and then played the F at the end. So that version Now what you can do is you could, again, another variation, what you could do for that is to go just play it as a straight and I'm just cutting. Or the other thing you could do is so play the E as a short roll and then cut the E to the F. So there's lots of different ways we can play that second bar. Uh, so let me just recap on that second bar again. So the first way, so second way, and the third way, So yeah, pick which one you like, use all of them, um, or none of them if you want. Uh, again, the thing with ornamentation, it's all about what you want to put into the tune. Okay, so then we've got the, the last two bars on the A part. So we've got... Okay, so what I like to do is to do a little triplet there. So. Yeah, so on the third measure on the second line, it goes. I like to put a little passing note in. And then I cut the F sharp to the D. So. So again, as written. Now, as a little variation. Or, what you could do is you could continue those that tripleted and go. So what I'm doing is cutting the first note of the triplets. So straight, now with the triplets, now with both triplets, so that's the third bar on the second line, and then the last bar on the, on the second line, which is going to be the last bar of the A part, short roll. Short roll on the A, cut the B, A, G, E, cut the F to the D. So I'll play it straight, then I'll play it with the short roll and the cuts. Now with the cuts and the roll.
So the last time when you've gone back and repeated it, because we, it's an A, A, B, E form, when you go back and repeat it, we change the, uh, that little descending pattern at the end. And what I like to do is just to play the E on its own. So it goes and take a breath there so that we can get to uh, the B part. Um, it just works better, I think, if we just hold that long E at the end because it signifies the end of the A part moving to the B part. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play the A part for you with the ornament. Well, I'll play it straight first and then second time I'll put the ornamentation in so you can hear the difference. So. And when we play the last time So that's the A part uh, with some ornamentation. Okay, so the B part, second half of the Dunmore Lasses. Um, again, I'm going to throw some variation, slight variation in, uh, and some uh, rolls and cuts uh, to show what we can do in terms of just adding a few simple ornaments. Nothing too uh, complicated at this stage. So first first part we've got okay so uh, again you can either play this straight or uh, what I like to do is so rather than playing I like to put a short roll on the G. So straight. Now with a short roll on the G. Um, you could even put a long roll on it. Yeah. So again, we're making slight changes to the melody. Um, only very slight variations. So three ways of doing it. So first is straight, just adding a few cuts. So next way, short roll. Or with a long roll. So that's the first measure on the third line. So the second measure on the third line, we've got that repeating, which comes on the second measure of the first line. So what we can do again, we can put similar uh, ornaments. We can go, or again, we could mix it up. Or what we could do is, um, continue some uh, some short rolls again we could use this as a variation so um, to bring us on to the next bar um, really it's up to you how how you want to uh, change it up as long as you stick mostly to the to the tune uh, those little variations are what gives it interest so 
Uh, I'm going to play the first two measures uh, in several different ways just to give you um, an idea of what I like to do in terms of variation. So the first two measures of uh, the B part, so that's bars one and two on the third line. So here we go. I'll play it straight first and then I'll put some variations in. Variation one. Okay, variation two. Um, there's loads of other ways you can you can you can you can ornament it. Um, I also sometimes like to do uh, what's called a, a, a cran instead of a, a high E cran on those E's instead of the rolls. Um, I won't go into cranning because that's, that takes a lot of work, but I'll just show you the effect. It's just a bit different from a roll, so if I put the roll, cran. Yeah, just a different effect, but it's it's nice to vary it. So uh, the next bar, so bar three, I'll play it straight, then I'll add some variation. So again, you can put just a short roll on the high G. Or you could make it into a long roll on the G. Sorry. So straight, variation one, variation two. So straight. So variation one, short roll on the G. Variation two, long roll on the G. Okay, so the third, uh, sorry, the fourth measure on the third line is the same. Uh, as the last measures each time. So it's going to go. So what I like to do is not to go down to that bottom D. You can if you want, you can go. Uh, but I like to just put a little short roll on the F uh, and then have a little breath after that. So it's going. to bring us back to the uh, last line on the B part. Okay, so again, we've got a similar pattern going as the third measure on the third line. Uh, it's very similar to the, third, uh, the first measure on the fourth line. So we've got this short roll on the G. So I'll play it straight first and then add the variation. Okay, now with the variation. So short roll on the G. or long roll on the G. Um, so the second measure on the fourth line, we've got. So again, this is where we can put some rolls in. So second measure on the last line, so straight. Now with a long roll on that dotted quarter note, E. Again. Um, so that you can also um, do a combination of rolls. So there I did. I did cut, short roll, short roll, cut. So slow motion. Uh, so second measure on the last line. Uh, 
I'll show you the different ways again. So straight. Now with the long roll. Now with all kinds of rolls going on. And again, the last two measures, we can um, add those triplets as we did because it's just a repeat of the last two measures in the first A part. Um, and again, like the A part, what I like to do is just to hold that E the second time we play it. So. So that's going back, repeating it. And so when I end up the last time, So it's up to you whether you want to use what we call a turnaround or just play the E at the end. So with the turnaround, um, it sounds nice actually if you use the turnaround. <clears throat> um, but uh, what you can do is just to play the E on its own when you go back to repeat. So it goes. Okay, so I'm going to play the whole of the B part now. Um, first, just straight, and then second time I'm going to put some uh, ornaments and variation in. So here we go. So if you use that little turnaround at the end, brings us back to repeat the tune. Okay, so that's uh, a few ornaments that you can put in, a few variations that you can put into the Dunmore Lasses. Um, right, I'll just play the tune all the way through so you can hear what I'm doing. I'm going to play it with a, with a click so uh, we can hear how each measure follows each measure. So I've set my click to 80 beats a minute um, and so I'm going to play through uh, with some ornaments and variations that you can try. One, two,
So that's about it for the Dunmore lasses. Uh, there's infinite varieties of uh, and possibilities of ornamentation you can add. Um, I've just shown you a few there. Um, if you like what you've heard me do, then you, by all means, you're welcome to have a go and try some of those ornaments. Um, you don't have to put all the ornaments in, as I've said before. Um, you may only decide to put a few. Um, and again, it's better to err on the side of less is more when it comes to ornaments. So even if you're playing the first line, you could maybe just put a few of those long rolls in. So you could do this. to do that um, or you could just play it exactly straight without any ornamentation at all and there would be no crimes committed okay so that's my uh, breakdown of the Dunmore lasses uh, if you found this video useful or helpful in any way uh, could you please uh, give me a subscription or subscribe to the YouTube whistleblowers channel uh, if you have any whistleblowing friends uh, they may be interested in uh, looking at some of the tutorial videos which I've put up previously. Uh, so I am going to do a few other uh, tune breakdowns. Uh, probably Fig for a Kiss will be next. And then maybe I'll do uh, Planks the Irwin. Um, since quite a few people requested I did a breakdown of that as well. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, and thanks for watching. Okay, folks, happy whistling and bye-bye for now.